As India and ISRO celebrate the historic successful landing on the lunar surface, the journey for the next phase of lunar exploration for the country has just begun. The Vikram lander module successfully landed on the moon at 6.04 p.m. on Wednesday. Even as the mission team applauded and cheered the successful landing, which they have been working on since 2019, the next set of operations were set in motion. Soon after the touchdown, one side panel of the Vikram lander unfolded, creating a ramp for the Pragyan rover to roll out roughly four hours after the landing. Pragyan, a six-wheeled rover, rolled out of the ramp. The Indian tricolor and the ISRO symbols are embossed on its wheels, which made the rover leave an imprint as it drove out on the moon soil. Moving at a speed of one centimeter per second and using navigation cameras to scan its lunar surroundings, the countdown has started for the payloads on the lander and the rover to collect data from the moon over the next 14 days, which is equivalent to one lunar day. The payloads on the lander include the Chandra's Surface Thermophysical Experiment or CHAST to measure the thermal conductivity and temperature, instrument for lunar seismic activity or ILSA for measuring the seismicity around the landing site, Langmuir probe or LP to estimate the plasma density and its variations. There's also a passive laser retro reflector array from NASA for lunar ranging studies. Meanwhile, the rover has an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer, APXS, and laser-induced breakdown spectroscope, or LIBS, for deriving the elemental composition in the vicinity of the landing site. These rover payloads will gather the data of the elemental composition of the moon's atmosphere and surface and send this data to the lander. The payloads on the Vikram lander will measure the near surface plasma, that is ions and electrons density, carry out measurements of thermal properties of the lunar surface, measure seismicity or earthquakes around the landing site and delineate the structure of the lunar crust and mantle. The lander over the next two weeks will relay this data to the Chandrayaan-2 satellite, which will beam the data back to Earth. The tons of data coming from the, all of the scientific instruments on board the propulsion module, the lander and the rover is likely to keep researchers buzzing for the years to come. The lander and the rover will have about two weeks to study the lunar surroundings, after which the freezing temperatures of minus 238 degrees Celsius of the lunar night in the South Pole is likely to destroy the instruments. However, ISRO's Chairman S. Somanath harbors the hope that the lander and the rover will live for another lunar day, which would then yield about a month's worth of data collection from this unexplored side of the moon. This is Mohana Basu, Assistant Editor at The Print. Do continue to follow our coverage on the Chandrayaan 3 mission on The Print website and all our social media platforms. <laughs>